Okay, a quick jump in, add in, insert. A quick insert before the rest of this vid. Um, I am doing a shop, launch shop update thing, shop. You can get my stuff from me. Uh, tomorrow, July 1st, uh, goes live at noon Central Standard Time. And now, back to the rest of the shenanigans in this video. So, hello, hi, it's me, a Tree. Um, I just got a thing in the mail, Ed, that I totally forgot that I had ordered, which is funny because I only ordered a little bit ago. Um, but yeah, um, and I remembered to like maybe turn this on once I'd already cracked into the thing, so please take that into consideration. So I ordered a undated day planner from We Are Nice Humans. <laughs> I can do this. From We Are Nice Humans from We Are Nice Humans, which is Fran Nerd's um, merch company. <laughs> Hello, chaotic filming today, um, which has this nice thing on the back of a postcard. And this really like nice sticker that I'm trying to get up off the um, tissue paper without ruining it too badly. It's not gonna be sticky when I'm done, so I'm gonna end up like gluing it or taping it into something, so. Please wait. The worst thing about uh, the, the nice packaging is invariably the stickers are cute and you want to keep them, but they're, yeah, thing. So tissue pepper, which is a nice pink. Pink is usually not, you know, a color I am very fond of unless it's like absurdly Sailor Moon pink because I'm strange that way. Sorry, I had to shift hands. And here's the little bag it's in. I got it with the little bag because I like little bags. And hold on again. And we have the little Hello Cupcakes that match the little friend with the balloons. I like, I like little drawstring bags because I put like my tarot cards and stuff in them. So there you go. <laughs> and we have the lovely cloud end papers and stickers. There is quite a few. Ugh. And some little calendar ones, which are no longer correct, <laughs> which is fine. Because, because while this is an undated calendar, those are not. But like, Look at how cute this is! There's a little pocket in the back. Nice. So I got that because um, my Mosery one ran out of space. And I just wasn't feeling like ordering it from Mosery, so. There, there, there are reasons for that, mostly because um, I'm thinking my, my old one, I'm gonna turn into like art journal pages and stuff, and it's like, it's one of those dual-sided, so the blank book is still usable, so I'm just gonna do that, I think. I had a pen decide that I needed to look like I was bleeding. So yeah, that's what we're doing. It's really cute. I love day planners. I, I keep thinking about designing one. So it's like research as well as function. Alright, I'm gonna go. I really need to edit this video <laughs> at some point really soon.
uh, to be here right now. Um, so the, the, the story about Harvard is a little bit like that too. So I... I Why is this leaking? Because the ship is floating. Do you want to sink the ship? No, 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 you uh, my, my logic's fine. Ariel's just writhing over there. See? Right. Uh, so, I'm having a lot of problems with my brain. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like I'm stagnating. I feel like I can't do anything new. Hello, Dean. Now we have a cat on the desk. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I, I'm not doing anything. Enjoy listening to me talk while I start this out. I'm still not sure that's a good height. Should I give you some more height? I do not know. My hair is probably bizarre. Cannot see, cannot tell. <sighs> Hi, it's me, Tree. Um, I have been having difficulties talking to the camera for a variety of reasons, including <laughs> uh, the brain leaves, the the br yeah, the brain worms hate my brain meats. So there you go. But, um, a creator I really enjoy whose TikTok is Humble Tortoise, uh, but their name's Parker, uh, was asking, when does art become content? And I thought that was a really interesting question. And so I'm kind of stealing the question and going to talk about it. So for me, when art ceases to be art and becomes content, is when the artist is when the artist's personality is more important than what they're creating. Not that an artist's personality isn't important to the creation of the work or to the understanding of the work or even to the consumption and marketing and all of that. I mean, our work is an extension of ourselves. But I keep thinking of people like Jeff Koons, who, like, once upon a time, his work was more important than his personality, and now his work takes second, second, third, fourth place to his personality and all the scandals that he's been involved in. So there's where that kind of line is for me. Um, and there are plenty of artists who I enjoy, who I enjoy their work, but I don't like them as people. Or I like them as people, but their work just isn't for me. Or where I am really... I, I really vacillate about whether or not I like their work, enjoy their work, if 
find their jerk, their, their jerk, find their work important, find their work important and meaningful and something that I want to interact with. Um, but their personality and their thoughts that are behind all these things are always fascinating. So it's a very complicated thing, I think. But the basic line for me is when the when the personality becomes more important than the work. So there is my little tap dance. For some reason, I thought that would take longer than it did. Um, so I kind of refined my ideas down between when I wrote the idea down and now, apparently, <laughs> probably because there have been other things in my head. Um, like the ever-present universal, oh, I'm not good at art, which <sighs> I, I just, I want people to say what they mean rather than saying, I'm not good at art. Say, I don't have those skills. I haven't spent the time developing them, the years of practice and work and determination and dedication it takes to be able to create art. It's, it's okay for people not to be good at art. It's okay for people not to want to be good at art, even at a hobby level. It's okay to be a hobbyist and make stuff that you don't think is good, whatever good means. It is a highly subjective thing and determined upon what part of the art world you're talking about and what genre and it's very, very highly subjective. But don't say I'm not good at it and with this like dismissive air that the people who are good at it, whatever that means, are somehow born with an innate talent. It's like, we might have things that allow us to more easily do a thing, but that doesn't mean that it's talent, it's skill. We've been working on this stuff our entire lives, and there's, you know, oh, well, you know, there's, I'm colorblind, I'm yada yada, it's physical something that keeps me from being able to do art. It's like, no, that's an excuse. If you want to do art, you can do art. There are artists who are colorblind, who have synesthesia, who are legally blind, who at my hands and my are numb 90% of the time. My legs always hurt, and I have ADHD. I still make work. Um, one's an artist with intense disabilities, severe econ socioeconomic disadvantages. It, there are artists who have no hands. Who, it, mm, it's just the people who say these sorts of things don't consider the impact of their statement. That in saying that in, in saying I'm not going to implying that it is a talent rather than a hard won skill, we are somehow circus freaks. We 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 are something to be to to sell tickets to see to to. You know, watch us put on our, our snappy hats and dance our dance. And it's really upsetting. I worked hard to be able to do what I can do. And yeah, it's like maybe a lot of people don't like what I do, but I worked hard to be able to do what I can do. So maybe don't erase and diminish the work I put in, the work that other artists put in. Art isn't about necessarily being good or bad or whatever it's about expression and community and experience and the sharing of those things and that can happen in a variety of ways so things to consider lots of thinky thoughts and with very like abrupt answers i don't know what's with this today so I'm going to go because, well, I've been talking about weird stuff and I'm going to go do more of that practicing to make art. Do good, be kind, be brave, consider the impact of the words you say, get vaccinated, and courage. <laughs>